All right. Uh... Hello and welcome to this week's mailbag. I'm Doug Kide. If you have a question for me, tweet it to me at Doug Kide using the hashtag MailDoug, and I will try to answer it. First question here comes from CV Mags, who asks, chance of Gronk and Gordon playing next season? Tied in Rob Gronkowski, considering retirement. Uh, that's a scoop out there right now. Josh Gordon currently suspended. He would have to be reinstated to play. I would almost say there's maybe an equal chance of those guys playing next season. I lean towards both of them playing. I think that Rob Gronkowski ultimately will play next season in some form or fashion. I'm not sure if that's in week one. I don't know if he comes back midway through the season. I don't know if he's there at training camp or OTAs, but I do think that he will be back in some form. That kind of seems to be the rumblings that are out there right now. And Josh Gordon, I know that the NFL wants him to play. I know that he wants to play, but it's really hard to trust Josh Gordon. So I do think that at some point next season, I'm not sure if it's for week one, same with Rob Gronkowski, or whether it's midway through the season, I think he will be re reinstated, but the big question there is how long he will be reinstated for the Patriots. Did tender him as a restricted free agent, so he is in their plans, but even if he gets reinstated, even if he is there in training camp, you basically have to bring in other starting receivers to fill in if Josh Gordon does get suspended again next season. Second question here comes from The Charming Prince, who asks, as of now, Pats have around 12 million in cap space. Is there any way they can increase it? Patriots actually have significantly less than $12 million in cap space because that is before you factor in signing Brandon Bolden and re-signing Jason McCourty, re-signing Philip Dorsett, re-signing John Simon. So they almost have no cap space right now. And there are ways that they can increase that space. The number one way is by extending Tom Brady's contract. He is on the last year of his deal and they can free up a lot of cap space if they do extend him beyond next year, which I do expect them to do. It's really a matter of when they will do that because that would be a smart move. Another way to do it would be by cutting Adrian Claiborne that would free up about $4 million worth of cap space. But really what the Patriots have to decide is whether it's worth doing that if they can bring in a better player using that $4 million in cap space. There are other ways of freeing up cap room, but not as simple as those two ways. Final question here comes from Benji, who asks, any faith in the plan of having Isaiah Wynn replace Trent Brown at left tackle? Brown was a serious asset overall. I have a lot of faith. Isaiah Wynn was a first round pick last year. I think that he was in consideration to be that left tackle last year. Before he tore his Achilles, Trent Brown really did step up. He got a massive contract from the Oakland Raiders as a free agent. I think that everyone expected that to happen. No one expected Brown to be back next season. So Isaiah Wynn has to step up. In fact, the Patriots have the best offensive line coach, perhaps in the history of the NFL, and Dante Skarniecki is why I have faith that Isaiah Wynn can step in basically from day one and be their starting left tackle. He's certainly a lot shorter than Trent Brown. Uh, he's got a lot less, you know, a lot shorter arms than Trent Brown, but he was drafted in the first round for a reason. I think that he will be able to step in and be a solid left tackle for the Patriots.